Now, the mayor of Cape Town, Jordan Hill Lewis, has written to the CEO of ESCOM, Andre Dereta, asking him to formally withdraw ESCOM's application to increase the price of power. ESCOM is seeking an average tar uh, tariff hike of 20.5% for the next financial year. In some cases, if granted, the price hike may be around 40%. The mayor joins us now. Mayor, thank you for being with us. Um, uh, very quickly, uh, many will agree with you. Um, you say this is unaffordable. Why? Humans are being asked to absorb another 20.5% increase after last year's 15% increase and after increases of 307% over the last decade. So much so that the price of electricity is now very unaffordable for many families in South Africa. Add to that the consideration of how many people have lost their jobs the last two years through COVID and the fact that no one in South Africa is even getting an inflation-related increase in their salaries. You're lucky if you get an inflation-related increase in South Africa over the last couple of years. This increase is four times inflation. Four times inflation. It is totally unreasonable, totally out of, out of control and unfair. Mayor, did you also submit comments to NURSA, which we are all allowed to do? I think the, the cut-off day was today. Um, or are you only writing to, to the ESCOM CEO? No, we, I've got it somewhere here. Uh, we've submitted a, a full document to NURSA as well. And I am doing, going to the public hearings next week to make verbal submission as well to NURSA. By going uh, to ESCOM as well, uh, going to the CEO, uh, a question for you is, are you going to the right person with, with the right issue? Um, if you look at ESCOM's financials, uh, and, and experts uh, would agree with me on this, uh, it seems pretty unsustainable, uh, the position of this power, uh, this power parastatal. It's, it's got to deal with the future. It's got to build power stations. It's got to deal with incredible debt from the past. And it's got to try and keep the lights on and, and uh, get money in for the power it's producing right now. Isn't there a huge fundamental issue here that the country is trying to deal with? Uh, the CEO himself has, has asked for help from government. Uh, we were going to have this three-part ESCOM. Um, it seems to be happening a little slower than it expected. But isn't there a, a, a bigger problem here that, that is in the court of, of government? No, ESCOM doesn't ask government for help. It asks you and me and every single person watching this program for help. And boy, have we given it help. We've given it 150 billion rand in bailouts over the last decade. We have paid 307% before this increase in higher prices over the last decade. And it still doesn't work. It is still deep in debt. It hasn't cut costs. And it doesn't, it shouldn't be uh, building power stations to answer your question. It should be buying much cheaper power from independent power producers. The future of ESCOM is to get out of the power production business entirely. But that's all actually beside the point. The key point is that you can't keep going to the public to save ESCOM, which is in this position not by the fault of the public, but because of mismanagement, corruption, far too much debt too quickly over the course of the last 15 years. Yeah. Now, you can't just go back to, to the public every year and say, we still haven't sorted this out. Can you give us even more? Next year, the same message. We still haven't sorted this out. Can you give us even more? It's okay, just let, not fair. Let me rephrase that question. Isn't ESCOM obliged to go to the public because that's all it can do, uh, given the unsustainable debt that it's carrying, that, and that hasn't been sorted out? Well, it, it promised a plan three years ago for uh, getting its debt under control. We still haven't actually seen that plan uh, put on the table at all. Uh, so at the moment, its only plan is to keep charging you and me and, and every South African more and more for more uh, for, for power. Yeah. So it, there's other things it, it could do. It could, it could uh, collect debt from all of the municipalities and consumers that owe it so much all over the country. It could start to sell its assets. Uh, it could reduce its costs by, by uh, dealing with its very bloated uh, employment uh, costs, you know, its wage costs. So there's other things that it could do without having to keep going back to the public. The, the reason it's easy to go back to the public, this is a crucial point, the reason it's easy to go back to the public is because we've got no other choice, do we? If this was an insurance company charging us like this, 
or if this was a local grocery store charging us like this, we would just go elsewhere. But where else do we have to go when it comes to electricity? Yeah. However, last year this went to court, uh, and we've seen it a few times, I think, where, where NERSA um, actually rejects what ESCOM is asking for and says, no, you'll get a lower increase. And, and it went to the court, and the judge said, um, this is fair. There, there was an agreement around uh, the multi-year pricing where, where ESCOM can claw back money. It, it can show exactly um, how much it, it uh, needed to produce the power and how much uh, revenue it needed to come in. Uh, the judge said, unless there's an alternative process, what's happening is, is fair. Uh, and that was a legal ruling. Sure, that happened once. There's been other occasions where NERSA has rejected the ruling and that rejection has stood. So our call to ESCOM is first and foremost, ESCOM should withdraw that outrageous request for 20.5%. If they don't, then NERSA should reject it. And if they don't reject it, uh, or if they do reject it and ESCOM takes it to court, then we'll, you know, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. But what we know, the principle of the matter is uh, Cape Townians, South Africans, cannot afford this increase. To put it in practical terms, for every 500 rand you spend on electricity, you'll now spend another 105 rand. That's just not affordable. All right. Thank you very much. Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill-Lewis joining us there.